Nashville's number one for all the hits, the new Hot 106.7. You are on air with Aaron, and I am joined by the wonderful... Jenna Rose. Hi. Yay. How are you doing, Jenna? I'm so excited to be here. I'm having so much fun in Nashville. So, yeah. Amazing. Well, Jenna, you are a mover, a shaker, a hard worker. Something that is so unique about you is you document all of your milestones that you achieve and you put it out for the world to see and you can see your genuine gratefulness and appreciation. How important is that to you for just you as an artist in your career? Thank you. I think that goes hand in hand with like social media as a whole now is such a big part of artists lives and everyday lives and journeys and and all of that so I I love documenting everything and sharing that with my fans I, I feel like it gives them a personal like look into my my real life now your fans I know they're your favorite <laughs> thing to talk about they're my yes. favorite thing to talk about with you <laughs> the JRA are incredible and they're so supportive and positive what is it about you Jenna Rose that you think your fans just gravitate to Gosh, I, I don't know. I think I just try and communicate with everyone really personally. I, I DM everyone. I do Zooms weekly. I do Instagram Lives weekly. And I feel like I, I, I can give some advice to them and be kind of like a big sister to them. That is so awesome. Yeah. So we we love playing Checkmate here Thank at you. Hot. I, I love that you guys are playing it. Yes. It's it's also on my, my running playlist. It's a great <laughs> song to run to. That's amazing. So when you first released that song and you're still hearing it on the radio now, how has what you think about when you hear that song changed from when you first heard it on the radio to today when you'll hear it oh my gosh it's just it's exceeded all of my expectations and so I think I have a greater appreciation for it because I'm just like wow like thank you to the song for doing what it's doing for me and I'm just I'm so grateful and hearing it for the first time on the radio was the most surreal feeling I think I've ever had my mom was in the car and we were just like crying and now it's it's so many places and I'm just I'm still so grateful oh. It is such a jam. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, you have said that style and music go hand in hand. This Hold is on. not surprising for people watching the interview. I have my sweet new Jenna Rose t-shirt on. I love it. I yes. Love it. And obviously, you look incredible today. What do you try to express with your personal style? Yeah, like you said, style goes hand in hand with music. And so I try and express what I try and express with my music as well through my fashion and my music videos and Checkmate. We try to make fashion a huge part of it with every single look. Everything was thought out to what I wanted to say with each scene and what everything meant to me. So I try and just tell a story with my fashion. Amazing. You are, in fact, a storyteller as an artist. So I that's am. great. Yeah, I got to be <laughs> with every aspect then, right? Yes. And yeah. speaking of your, your Checkmate music video, I meant to ask you last time we chatted if yeah. you kept those knee-high pink boots that you had, because I really hope you did. Okay. They were too small on me, <gasps> and they were lended, so I did not get to okay. keep them, but they were also excruciating, and I would have to sit down after each dance take, because I was dancing full out in them, and yes. they were horrible. So I did not keep them. It's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. Amazing. It turned out well. (laughs) (laughs) Now, last time we chatted, we have to check in on Sweet Nala. We talked about our rescue kitties. We both have rescue kitties. Yes. I saw that she was wearing a cone of shame recently. Fortunately, yes. She just got it off Good. while okay. I was gone. And <laughs> she is the light of my life. She's doing so well. We discovered that she does have like an, an eye thing. We need to get her eye surgery because her mm. eyelashes turn inward <gasps> to her eye. So she, she's, been a, she's been a problem kitty. Poor girl. She's, oh. We're working on it. She's almost there. She's almost all the way done. Oh, a very caring mom you are Thank for you. Sweet Nala then. I try. That's good. Also, okay. when we, we tweeted uh, your fans say to see if they had questions for you, of course, we got thousands of them. I love it. One love of the it. main ones was, how is Nala? So we can report to everybody that- She's doing well. She's good. The cone of shame is off. <laughs> yes. Amazing. Now, speaking of fan questions, I have a few that I want to run down for you for your from your awesome fans. Awesome. So Ellie from the Arizona JRA asked, milk before or after- the cereal that you put in the bowl after thank you I don't know <laughs> I don't know if this is controversial but after I don't how, know you need to be able to gauge how much milk you need yes, right the cereal like it wouldn't like sink it like I don't get milk first I don't get it I'm sorry I'm sorry if that offends people I, I don't get it we we also had speaking of breakfast we also had several fans make sure apparently this is very important did you get your matcha today yes 
Okay. And I did have my matcha <laughs> once. I just told my team I would probably like it three times. <laughs> okay. I I don't know. I'm kind of. <laughs> I'm. It's a problem for me. It's a problem. It's fine. It's not hurting anybody. And <laughs> it's you're in only Nashville. It's benefiting me. <laughs> and there's plenty of places in Nashville that you can take care of that. I promise. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Right. I'm not wrong. <laughs> So, oh, Macarena V9 asked, if you could describe, I love this question, if you could describe the JRA using memes, what meme or memes would you oh, choose? Oh, my gosh. I think I'd have to do, like, a cat meme of okay. some sort because now I'm, like, a huge cat lady. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different faces. I don't know. Maybe, like, like they're, like, they're so sweet and they're also so feisty at the end yeah. of the time. So I'm trying to think of the perfect meme. I don't know. What do you think? You know what? Because of how on top of it your fans are, and you just mentioned cats, yeah. it's absolutely the meme with the cat who's like this at the keyboard. You know oh what I'm talking about? Oh, my gosh. Like typing to you fervious, fervously oh every day. Oh, my gosh. That's perfect. That's because they request and do everything. Oh, my God. We found it. That's it. I'm so tweeting that after this. I'm yes. so tweeting that. I will, on the video, I will superimpose the meme, the yeah. GIF I'm referencing. Perfect. perfect. That is now the JRA meme. We got meme. it. We got Incredible. It's a JRA meme. <laughs> Oh, um, Amelia Reagan wants to know any fun fan experiences. Fun fan experiences. I mean, someone, this sweet, sweet girl in Houston brought me candy. And I love when people bring things mm -hmm. to shows. It's really sweet. I love that. Oh, and my, my fan cast, she she got me a Starbucks gift card randomly. She just sent it to my DMs. And it Aww. made my day because she knows I love matcha. And it yes. just made my day. Things like that are so sweet. They just do things like that all the time. And it makes me so happy. Jenna, it's so obvious how much you love your fans. I, love I think them. that's so special is when artists acknowledge that and genuinely like to talk about that. That's awesome. Totally. I, I think it just stems from being growing up and listening to music and hearing songs and them telling my stories and how special that felt and like yeah. me wanting to give that to other people and also be like a person in their life that is a is a, a light, maybe if even if they don't have it, I, I would love to be that for them. Oh. Jenna, that's great. Uh, and then your final fan question. There were too many people to count who asked this. Okay. What is next for Jenna Rose, and are you going on your next tour soon? Lots. is There's a lot coming. Okay. I'm constantly in the studio. I write songs, like, every day of my life. So there is a lot of uh, fun, exciting stuff coming. Lots of songs, new music, new music videos, and then also tours coming soon. I have two shows in Tennessee right now, tomorrow and then yes. Saturday. And then after that, we're planning a tour. Oh, my goodness. So many exciting things in store. Yeah. And as as we said, you're going to document it all. So we can't wait to see. And you are always welcome to come hang out with us at Hot 106.7. We're so grateful you came. I love it here. Thank you so much. Yay. I have so much fun.